Oh my god, I don't even know what to say on this video, but Microsoft did it again. They said there will not be a bundle without the connect. They do not have plans of moving the connect from the Xbox to always come with it. They do not want to get it through their thick heads that no one want that shit. No one want it. And um this is why I mostly get a PS4. I mean why would I spend like an extra hundred dollars for something that I don't want? If the Xbox cost the same amount as the damn PlayStation 4, I would have got one. Because Xbox have more appealing games than the PS4 so far. Well, at least, at least on lots titles. I mean, I'm a Sony gamer. I don't even like Xbox, but when I saw a Titan 4, Dead Rising 3, I'm like, huh. You know, that more appealing than Killzone and Neck. I mean, if they had infamous that they, you know, lines, so I'm like, okay, Sony killing, but they ain't got nothing that more appealing, but I just reserve it because, you know, I love Sony. I mean, I just got it first, but if the Xbox cost the same amount as it, it'd been a better deal. I mean, so, I like in games, because practically it's the same system as you're looking at, like specs, gimmicks, and hardware. It's the same system, but this damn connect shit, though. Oh my God! No, no one want it, and they gonna force it upon the consumers, and it's a bad idea. This is a stupid on their part. Like you making us pay an extra hundred dollars for something we don't want. I mean, you can't just look at it like, okay, these are two of the same system, and the Xbox is a little if inferior. It returns to actual hardware to the PS4, and it costs more than it. <sighs> That bundle would have been something that they needed, like well, off the connect and came with I don't know Titanfall or or, or Call of Duty or something. But this shit right here just made my day. Read the article and be in the description below, and make sure you like and subscribe. I am not gonna add comment to this video, but yeah, make sure you like and subscribe. Peace.